Let's go on a move to a little later in the afternoon, and the Bucks are headed to New Orleans to take on the Saints. Saints are a five-point underdog at home, total of 50. Saints are 5-1 and one against the spread of their last six uh, against the Bucks. And the Bucks 14-1 and one straight up in their last 15, 10 and one straight up in their last 11 on the road. But we ain't talking straight up. We're talking against the number here. Hey, Chris, I, I have done this week in and week out. And I cannot seem to figure out this Bucks team. When I bet against them, they win big. When I bet on them, they don't cover by like a point. And it is becoming irritating. I, I think in this spot, this is I'm, I'm going to roll with the Saints again. I keep doing this week after week. I think this is a big-time matchup for them. They're going to have a lot of people in the homestands. I, I like the Saints team. Like, they have found ways to win ball games that they probably shouldn't. And, and I'm going to trust them here. I don't, I don't trust them to be able to get the win. I trust them to make this a field goal game. I think Jameis Winston against this secondary is going to have success, uh, much more so than the Bears did last week. I actually trust Jameis Winston to throw a pass. I do not anymore trust Justin Fields and Matt Nagy's offense to do that. So, so I was on the wrong side with the, with the Bears last week. But, but I'll take the Saints at home plus five. I think, I think this will be a close ball game. We disagree. You just keep don't believing in Tom Brady. I'm telling you what, man. I don't. I don't know what you have to do to convince somebody that the guy's the greatest quarterback of all time. But he is the greatest quarterback of all time. Hang on. Let, let, let's talk about something for a minute, okay? Okay. He he not only Tom Brady is not only the greatest quarterback of all time, right? He has done this so long. He's the first human being ever to be one and and every other human alive against Father Time. All right. And then last week. We saw something totally different. Totally different. Gary, did you see the sign? Did you see the boy with the sign? Yes, I did. Tom Brady cured his cancer. Yeah. We, we, got a, we got a building that's worth $100 billion. It's about nine miles away from me right now, okay? That's, that's true. That is, that, is, that is built with its sole purpose in mind of trying to cure childhood cancer. And Tom did it. Tom beat cancer. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I do not know how else to tell. I've been. I've been trying to evangelize about this man my entire existence since I've done it for twenty years, and nobody will listen. He's the greatest. He's not just the greatest football player. He's not just the greatest quarterback. He's just the best at everything that that you ever want to measure somebody by. I, I'm not going to disagree with that. I'm. I'm not going to disagree with that at all. I fully expect him to you, put up points. You just keep betting against him. But I, I am going to bet against him in this spot. <laughs> so you think you think the Bucks aren't defense isn't excited about playing against Jameis? Yes, I I think that they are. I just don't trust their their secondary right now. I don't. <laughs> that's, I trust Jameis to throw the ball to their secondary. That that is probably a much more likely outcome. But you can know, you name a good team that the Saints have beat? Not not as good as the Bucks. Can you name a good team the Saints have beat? Uh, do we consider the Patriots a good team? No. No, nah, probably no, not. We okay. Don't. Well, no, I can't. I can't. <laughs> that, that, that's that's impossible. Uh, <laughs> the only good teams that they've played, they have been beaten by. So if you look at DVOA, by the way, Tampa Bay number four overall and New Orleans number seven overall, you know. It, it really, that New Orleans defense is what I'm kind of hinging it on, but I, I do expect Tom to put up points there, and New Orleans has a special teams advantage, uh, number nine to number twenty three in that regard. So, so I'll roll Saints, and you'll roll Bucks, and and I don't I don't have to win, I just have to cover, and that's that's kind of what I'm counting on here. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.